In this system.io video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can add your custom domains inside system.io so that you can have your own domain appear in system.io. So firstly, log into your system.io. Once you log into your system.io, I want you to click over the profile uh, at the settings here. Okay, at the system.io, look for a left hand side bar of system.io and locate the custom domain. Okay, once you get a custom domain, just click the add domain. Okay, I'm using Namecheap to, um, to buy my domain names. So you guys can watch this if you are using the Namecheap as well. But if you are using a similar like GoDaddy, you can also follow a similar structure as well. So the first thing is that to add your own domain name. So I have a lot of domain names. Um, so I'm just going to click one of it. It's called amazingacademy.co. Okay, so I'm just going to do a demonstration. After you've done that, just click save in system.io now i want you to go over to your name chip right so there are some settings that you need to go over to the name chip uh, that we need to set it up so once it shows that the domain has been successfully created in system.io i want you to take note of this cname1 and cname2 okay don't worry about it i'm just going to guide you guys through step by step okay so now uh let us just starting from this first okay so when you're starting from this I want you to go over to your name chip. Okay, this is my name chip. And go over to your domain list. I am in my account, so let's go to my dashboard. And let's go over to my domain list, all right? So in my domain list, I have a particular domain that is called Amazing Academy. So this is the one, and I want you guys to click Manage in the domain that you want to set up. And over here, click the Advanced DNS. Okay. So once you have done that, you will see all these options available. So what I want you guys to do is that whatever you're seeing right now, just delete it. Okay. Just delete what you have, whatever you have it here. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing you need to do is to add the C name. So the C name will be just click the Add the Record and go to see name record the whole so we start with www and then the next thing just refer back on what the system that i always giving me just now so this one is start with www dot and the, the system that i will give me the entire string remember to take with the dot i'm just going back to my name chip and paste it over there and click take okay so this is the first c name record so we need to add another c name record so same thing Okay, now over the holes, right now, what you need to click is that can you identify this long string? This is my domain name, right? So this is not important. I want you guys to get whatever that is before the domain name. So, which is in this example, let us check if we need to take the dot. Uh, we do not need to take the dot. So as you can see, this is without a dot. So let me show you guys again. You take everything, exclude the dot, okay? I did not include the dot, exclude the dot. Now, go over or back to your name chip, paste it as host, and you still have another string which you need to include the dot, which is at the value. So remember the value, you need to include the dot, but in the host, you do not need to include the dot. So just click, take. So you can just save your changes over here. So once you're done, you can go over to here, so it will show like pending valid, uh, valid, validation. So now I'm just going to refresh it. So it's showing pending validation. So most likely it will actually be validated within 24 to 48 hours. So I hope that this tutorial helped you in the system.io in terms of adding custom domains. So system.io is a really great tool. If you want to learn how to use the system.io for the entire suit, I have prepared a free course for you on how to create your first ever landing page in system.io, including all other step-by-step -step tutorial in terms of automating, the emails within the funnels that you set up in System.io. You guys can actually set up at this link that I input down below or you can set up in the description box. If you find that this 
So if you thought that all tutorial is helping you, feel free to give us some comment or like so that I'll produce more better tutorial. Alright, so I will see you in the next uh, video then. And also remember to join our Facebook at www.amazingstory.co where we share even more tips about funnel building as well as marketing as well. Take care, bye!